Welcome to my channel, Let is a Feather Tarot. This is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. So this is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. This is a timeless reading, so whenever spirit brings you these messages, that's when they were meant. Please take the messages that resonate. If you're finding that the messages aren't resonating, please check out your other signs. Also, all of my contact information is listed below if you would like a personal reading. So let's go ahead and take a look at the energies surrounding you. Hope you guys are taking care of yourself. You're being safe. I know a lot of you guys are still quarantined, stuck in the house. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, so we're starting out with adjacent possibilities, door to personal healing and happiness, beautiful and helpful people. So the top row is going to be in regards to your career, abundance, finances. So Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio? Just bear with me, almost done. The bottom row is going to be in regards to love. So this could be um, you and a soul connection, a partnership. This could be self-love. This could be love to do with a family member. It could be platonic or romantic. Let's see. So let's see what we have here. So for your overall energy, you have helpful people, door to personal healing and happiness and adjacent possibilities. Instantly with this card, you know, this is about you having people in the physical world and people on the other side, you know, helping you, guiding you, assisting you. So if you need help with something between now and the near future, make sure you're asking for that help. You know, asking for that help can look different for everyone, right? Um, you can ask your angels and your guides for signs, for confirmation, you know, that typically helps uh, during the process of your journey. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to have, you know, doors open up and you're going to have different possibilities um, come up in the near future. This is a beautiful energy. This is, you know, about healing and just moving into happiness. I feel like for some of you guys, this is about some type of just you connecting with you with your with your higher self as well. A lot of healing. So let's see how the cards connect with their overall energy. So the top row is career, finance, prosperity. So you're starting off with the Empress. The Empress is a very fertile energy, a very creative energy. She gives birth. Very passionate energy. So with the Empress, you have the Two of Wands. So, you know, when it comes to your prosperity and your abundance, you know, you're really looking out at the future. You know, Two of Wands, you literally have the world in your hands. So I feel like with the Empress, you are creative. You're coming from a very creative space. And you have the Nine of Pentacles. So, you know, I feel like you're really focused on your future as far as your independence, your abundance, your wealth, you know, what you, what you want to bring in. So you have the Ten of Swords here. So it speaks about some type of painful ending. Situation may have not been easy. 
you know, for some of you, this could be a loss of a job. However, you know, whenever there's an ending, there is a new beginning. You know, with the hangman here, you know, you're really surrendering. You're letting go. You're really connecting with your higher self regarding this, this painful ending or some type of loss. You know, it may require, you know, a lot of strength. You know, it may take, you know, you being courageous on your part to get through this. And then you're going to be moving into the Six of Pentacles energy. So this is about some type of generosity coming in, some type of give and take. You have the Five of Wands here. So this speaks about change with fives. It speaks about uh, conflict, disagreement. You know, maybe there's a maybe there's a disagreement between you and another person when it comes to the give and take, when it comes to the balance, especially with this ending here. If you suffered some type of financial loss, maybe there's someone else in your household um, that's just not giving as much. There's a there's just there's not a balance. This could speak about disagreements or arguments regarding, you know, the give and take or finances. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be really focused on, you know, your stability, you know, maybe holding on, you know, to to money, putting money up, saving money, you know, with the four of pentacles, make sure you're not holding on too tight. You know, money is energy, right? When you pay your bills, pay it with gratitude so you can receive it back. All right, so we have a lighter energy. So you have a new beginning coming in here with the full card. Look at that. He, he or she looks so happy and so free and the sun is shining. It's, it's, it's really beautiful. Look at that door to personal healing and happiness. So I, I really feel that this new beginning coming in and these adjacent possibilities, you know, some of you may have um, more than one opportunity coming in here, but I definitely see one. You guys are going to be celebrating this new beginning coming in. You know, you really followed your path with the Hermit card here. You really followed your light to get to this point. You went from a two to a three. You know, this is your ships coming in. This is you expanding. So you're, you're definitely having some type of progression and I feel like it's all about timing with the will of fortune you have this end and you have a beginning and I don't feel like this end and this beginning is too far away you know the will of fortune is about your luck turning divine timing spirit time not your time you may have to have a little bit of patience but you know with this ending this beginning I feel like they're kind of going to be right behind each other so let's go ahead and look at love so we're starting off with the page of wands so it speaks about some type of messenger coming in some type of messages about creativity passion six of swords moving into smoother waters okay you know for some of you guys that are are dating you know this could be, you know, this person asking you to move forward with them, right? It could potentially um, refer to travel as well. But whatever these messages are, you know, they're going to make you feel like lighter. They're going to make you feel much smoother because it's going from choppy waters to smoother, smoother waters. So it's definitely something that's going to ease any type of uh, any type of tension. These messages are in regards to building expansion with the three of pentacles here. So next you have the queen of swords. This could be your energy or someone around you. You know, the queen of swords, you know, she or he makes decisions, you know, Ooh. definitely makes decisions. You have the Ace of Wands here. So it speaks about some type of new, creative, uh, passionate new beginning. 
for some of you this could be a new relationship coming in very beautiful energy um, if you are in a relationship this could be some type of spark being ignited in your relationship you know especially with with this connection you know maybe there were some type of uh, disagreements or arguments in regards to finances you know when there's a lack of finances it does affect your relationship it, it does affect your home life so I feel like there's there's definitely some type of spark you know and it it could just be in regards to yourself you could have a new outlook or new spark um, of inspiration when it comes to loving yourself as well as well I feel like this new beginning is gonna provide you with a very good strong foundation when it comes to love love of yourself love of the spouse love of a friend of a family member you have the nine of cups here so this is about you know wish fulfillment this is about you feeling content you feeling satisfied this is you moving forward you know the chariot is about control victory success very beautiful I feel like if you did have any any stress or any worries when it comes to to love whether it's loving yourself or someone else you know you're gonna be moving forward from this inner this energy of, of feeling trapped or bound stress anxiety I really feel like you're this whole time you're, you're really gonna be checking in with yourself you're really going to be tapped into your intuition with the hermit here following your own path no one else's path but yours four of swords this is you recharging your batteries this is you reflecting this is about self-care right Because you could be reflecting upon past stress, past struggles when it comes to love, loving yourself or loving another person. You know, you could be reflecting on that energy with the Hermit card here. You know, love could have could have been could have been difficult for you in the past, whether it's loving yourself or another person. You have the High Priestess here, so you you know, like I said, you're really going to be tapped into your intuition. You're moving forward with your plan though this is this is a very solid plan this you know as far as love this is you know something that's gonna last for the long run the knight of Pentacles is a very slow very melodic energy so very beautiful reading guys please comment below let me know how the messages are resonating I truly appreciate all of your likes um, all of you guys subscribing and sharing I hope you guys take care be safe and until next time